I think that's how I'll be tipping if I get crappy service. Oh dear. In my line of work, you have a couple of different tasks. Some are money makers, some are money savers. And some are like development into the future. Well, today I'm gonna ship all of my merch back to here because it failed, because I thought what was there was there. And so what I'm doing right now, shipping everything back from my fulfillment house. But the thing that's so difficult in my head Okay, there aren't as many tasks as I thought there were gonna be. So I have to create a manual order. So I pick everything that's in my inventory as if one person has ordered all of that. Then I submit that as an order. And then I choose my shipping, shipping service once it's been calculated based on weight and size. And then I pay the final invoice. Now here's where I, I'm second guessing this, right? I realize this is kind of like talking down to you. It's not meant to be that way. I think it makes for a great story if I go and pick up the items from a failed merch release and then bring them home here, but it's an eight hour drive there, eight hours back. I have no idea how much actual space this is gonna take up. Going there for basically a day and a half, you have the opportunity cost. What do I miss out on doing? Really not that much, but do I want to drive for 16 hours? Of course not. So basically I'm weighing up. Do I wanna spend all that time away from family and not be able to do something I want to do and do something I don't want to be doing? And how much better does it make the story if I go and pick it up versus having it shipped here? Now it's gonna cost more to ship here, but I think I'm okay with that opportunity cost. But then Oliver, why did it fail? I'll tell you why it failed. Okay, I was gonna explain, but we're about to go out. It's like pouring rain outside. But we're about to go take the boys to a splash park. So I'm gonna get this shipped off and then I'll explain when I come back. But maybe some nice drone shots? I'll just see you shortly. Whose dog is this? Hi, uh, where are you from? Come here, it's okay. He's buggered off. He's buggered right off. Oh, it's yours? Okay, cool, all right. Ow, okay, job done. You know what, stupid me. Yesterday, so I stopped the video, didn't film anything else, so we're just gonna continue it today. It was tipping down. <laughs> Oliver, figure yourself out. I thought we were going to an outdoor splash pad and the location I thought it was would have been cool to get some drone shots, but it was like a monsoon outside. So no drone shots, no shots, because there were all the kids around. Cool, got that sorted. But the four items we had to do for the, I just want to show you how much. I'm shipping 1,892 orders home, which would be a total product revenue of $27,495. It's going to cost me $482 for this inventory place to fulfill it. Not brilliant, but at the moment, I am waiting on them to figure out what the shipping dimensions are so I can then go and book my own shipping freight service to get it back here. No bueno. So for right now, I have a few things that I need to clean up and then I want to go and get a dollar bill because I want to be able to fold an origami cube, but it needs to be a crisp one. And I don't have a crisp one and I don't have my card because I lost it and Shay has hers, but Shay's out. So I'm gonna have to trade a, a nasty $1 bill for a good dollar bill. I don't know. A few things to clean up. This is the hot wax container. Whoops. This isn't the hot wax container. This is the container that the iced water was in that I would dip my feet into. So I'm gonna scrape this off. Fascinating, but maybe we'll get some cool angles. Yes, I think these Crocs are ridiculous. When I bought them, I thought they would be funny. That's not true. I didn't think they would be funny. I thought they would bring out some comments in my videos. People seeing them and just be like, what are those? And it did bring out a few, but not worth $100. Actually, this brings out something I've been wanting to fix for a long, long time. You see, I only ever really got into making content because of one person that one of my cousins put me onto. I shouldn't leave that there. I'm gonna find it. Those red boxes. Now those were iconic to Casey's kind of vlog, right? Like they were a main focal point. And you were like, that's so cool. What do I have? Okay. 
these aren't too bad, right? It's just nice, but that, I don't know where I got that from. And then those are just old products. So finally, you have this one. This one's good, I like this one, but none of it's uniform. And I want one place to store everything. Now I'm not ready to solve that problem today. I'm just kind of moaning about it because I have so much crap everywhere and it just doesn't work for me. I don't like it, it feels messy. It's the middle of the bloody day. Where could you possibly be going? Here's my key. Oh, I need the flipping tent, don't I? Donut. Oh, a bit foggy. Hello, goodbye. I am looking for a man in a black GMC Sierra. Ouch, ooh. I have no idea if this car is leather or pleather. But that burned. Seatbelt. All right, two things. We're gonna drop off, or we're gonna sell this tent to this guy and uh, go get some $1 bills. Now I have a little trick up my sleeve with those $1 bills. A little video engagement piece, if you will. Yeah, just have what I think is a brilliant idea. What are you guys doing? Doing, stupid cow. I swear, some people need their licenses revoked. Not me, I'm perfect. So I brought a $100 bill to give the idea that I was gonna get how do I explain this better? I could just go and get a single $1 bill and practice, but I know I need more than that. And so I could just get like five or something, but that's a pretty normal thing. There's nothing there for people to feel anything about. Oh my, that's it. I'm not doing these engagement like hack type things as like bait. I'm doing them for someone to feel something. Oh my gosh, that makes so much more sense. So here's an example of this. I have a hundred dollar bill, and so I was gonna hand that over and ask for 100 one dollar bills. But what if I don't have the hundred dollar bill, and I use this whole thing right here as a reason that I have cash? So this guy gives me the $80 cash, and then I use that to change into one dollar bills. Oh. These are the types of things in videos that you just, I just, I wouldn't have thought of this until it happened. Gosh. I love this. Yes, yeah, so now I'm just waiting for him to show up. <laughs> Hopefully he shows up. You know, I, I have been feeling really, I'm just, I'm just gonna talk for a second while I'm waiting here because I've got nothing else to do and I think this might be interesting for you. I've been feeling super insecure about doing these things that kind of bait a response from someone because I just, which is, which is a completely external feeling. I feel bad about doing something that I think is cool and creative in a video and I feel bad about it because of the way someone else feels. But the interesting part is that this is my name and my face and I want people to see what I really stand for versus just doing something because it will make someone feel something whether that's good or bad. But I'm really fighting with this. How do I, how do I feel okay with the decisions that I make based on how other people will perceive those decisions or those things. And so I think there's a balance or there's a balance to be had between what I feel is right in myself to do and what I feel is right as how I want people to perceive me in the way I make videos. I really wanna to get to a place where I do the things I want and I make the video the way I want to make it just because that's the way I want to make it and balance that with wanting people to see that that's the true reason behind every decision I make. That actually every decision I make is down to what I wanted to do in that moment. Let me go check this guy's not down here. Hey. What's up, man? How you doing? Pretty good. Good. Enjoy the camping as well. I'll try, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. Bye. Oh, chicka chicka, yeah. Okay, let's get some, um, some ones for being a stripper. Interestingly, I bought that tent about four years ago for 50, down from 100. That's what you get with inflation, isn't it? Profit of $30 over three years. That is a good investment. Hi, uh, is it possible to have 80 like fresh ones? Yeah, please. Uh, if they're crisp, that's possible. Sorry, I'm trying to do origami with it, so okay. <laughs> appreciate it, thanks. I'm not sure I'm gonna have 80 crispy ones. They're tough to find that are crispy. We're gonna try to find the best ones. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, something I really liked about working at Commerce was this whole 
a stay curious mentality, which was instead of jumping to conclusions that someone's doing something for bad reasons, be curious as to why they might be doing that and be curious as to how you're feeling and then use that to interpret however they feel or you feel. That's a definitely a big learning I took from you. And the mood elevator. Where does your mood sit and how do you use that to influence the way you um, make your decision, the way you act, the way you interpret? Just use any word you can and do more wrist movement, I think is what I'm saying. Dude, thank you so much. I'm sorry to be a pain. Appreciate you doing that. Thank you. Have a good one. I don't know the best way to tell you this, but after sorting through the $80 bills, I have zero crisp dollar bills. Zero, not one. So the, the only good ones, I've got five. Rubbish. So I had a little thought to the story. I'm going to try it immediately with a $1 bill, but I'm, I think it's going to be really easy, but I'm going to rip it by accident, which then sets us on this thing of like, I only have $1 bill as we've already established. What am I going to do next? Oh no. So I go to the bank, but I don't have my card. So I sell a tent on Facebook Marketplace for cash and then take the $80 to the bank. No, he gives me $81 bills. I like that. That's a good part to the story. But I can't make a straight line in the dollar bill because I don't have a ruler or anything, which is where these come in. I don't know if you remember. Let me find it. I have one of these when I was in school. Here we go. So here, it's just a chip bag with a zipper on it. I had one in school. I think they were very popular for our uh, era, but I couldn't find one anywhere. So I've got a bag of Funyuns that I've opened up and I'm now eating. I'm just gonna, I think I just glue this to the bag. It's only gonna be in there for a few seconds, if that. But to me, these are like the fun things of the video. Yeah, I guess I should make this now. I don't know if this is gonna stick. Let's hope so. Maybe it won't. Okay. Okay, Oliver. You're a donkey. Okay, super glue. I'm really using super glue to stick a zipper to a chip bag. Why? I think that's gonna do the job. I hope that's gonna do the job. Just about. Inside here. Oh. No, have I. I haven't super glued this together, have I? Oh, fuck. Okay, we're. We're not going with a zipper. We're just going to go. This is my bag of crisps. <laughs> I just took a full deep breath of the super glue. Uh, inside the bag, we're going to have just a couple of random pens, a piece of Lego. I don't know. I, I just found it. So then that's going to go in with my drones for some reason. And then I'll just get a shot of me grabbing it out of there. All right, let's start seeing how this actually works because I haven't looked at the bloody tutorial yet. All right, because we're kind of doing this in reverse and it's about making the fun story for the TikTok, I'm gonna grab one of the dollar bills and make it super scrunched up. The idea here is that people are like, what the hell is that dollar bill? Why is it so messy? So I need to rip this one. Let me check the tutorial, see where I should rip it. Oh, this is a really good, sorry dude, I did I scare you? A really good part of the video. Instead of like on the first couple of rips, I want it to be really close and then rip. That way the viewer is like, okay, he can get really far through it and then he failed. Quickly get through this. I think I'm gonna get it to where it's the shape of a cube. So you can kind of see the outline, see that it's possible. Then what does she do? She, how'd you do that bit? Sausage. 90 degree triangles. Going to the middle line. What middle line? Oh, that's tiny. I can't even see my... Then what does she do? Fold zigzags. Oh, instead of ripping it, I'll be like, it needs to be crispy so that I can see where the folds are. Yes, Oliver, you are uh, genius. So I'm going to get it most of the way. What, what did you just do? So you folded over. So now I'm going to start to do it wrong on purpose. Lady, what have you done? This is the worst tutorial I've ever seen. I love <laughs> this comment. Let's learn speeds up video. So I fold this bit up with that in and then I fold. So that is erect. Oh, I fold that in. What the hell is going on here? This was meant to be bloody easy. And then I so so that's fucking upright. I fold in from here. Do I fold in from here? Does that look right? Kind of looks right. Fold this whole POS. Yeah, see, I can't do this with a scabby flipping dollar bill. All right, let's go to the bank. 
get some crispy dollar bills. That was part of the video, framing it up. So now at this point, I can get rid of this useless one and start using one of these crispy dollar bills. Oh, yes. We can add in here, these are the crispiest they had. Oh no, I go to the bank, but the bank's a failure. And of the stack of $80 bills, there are five that are decent enough. And that's part of the story is searching through all of these. I don't want to make it look like I have tons of chances. I want to, yeah, make it look like I don't have much of a chance to make this happen. So let me pick the best ones. One, two, three. This is going to be number seven. One, two, three. Twenty. It's going to be number 21. Now, what does that mean, Oliver? That means that I'm going to sort through this stack to find the right dollar bill as if I've just been given a stack of ones from this guy. Should I count them in the car? Okay, I've got the car and the air on because it's so bloody hot out here. Now I do question sometimes, like how honest do I need to be? The things that really matter in the video, like if there's a result of something, that will be the honest result of it. So like, let's say like the dry feet series I've been doing, the scores before and at the end of the video have to 100% be real. I don't want to make dishonest content, but things where only two semi crispy bills out of a pack of 80, that's not going to harm anyone. If someone comes to find out, actually there were five of them in here. No one's going to give a shit. All right, Oliver, so you've been out, you've gotten the ones from this guy, sold it, you come home and you're going to say you're going to do it with a ruler. Now the Lego is, is not a good thing to put in here. One, yeah, it's kind of funny, but also that's basically the same size as a credit card, a debit card. No bueno. I'm gonna go with a Lego Golem. Okay, no ruler, down it. And then from this point, I'm gonna pretend like Rugi's come home uh, so that I can go and get it from the car. Yes. Oh, what's up, Rugi? And then before Shay just left, because she's actually out now, I went and got some shots of the me grabbing the card out of her bag. Just a very rough shot, but I am going to need to cover things on here. A bit of electrical tape will do the trick. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. It's like, why do you bother doing all of this just for a quick 60 something second video? I get it. It's overkill. But at the same time, number one, I like doing these bits. That's probably not the best way to cut out. But also, when someone does notice these things, they seem to really like it. If I were to think about my brand on social media, I'd like people to see that there is extra effort that goes in behind the scenes. And I would like the people who enjoy the videos to be able to pick up on these things. It's almost like an inner circle type of thing where if you know, you know. So they'll see for every random person that comes to watch the video, very few people will recognize it. But for the people that care and do notice it, they feel like they're in, in an exclusive club. Now, honestly, the exclusive club aspect of that wasn't my initial intention. I just like doing this. But if it gives that effect too, that's really cool in my opinion. All right, so now I start folding the origami and I'm thinking about the angle of the shot. I don't want to do a top down because it looks like it's too processed. I'm not doing a tutorial. I'm just like trying to do this. So let's do it from here. Yeah, let's just do it from here. Get the other dollar bills out of the way. All right, so we've got two chances. Fold to in God we trust. So now I'm folding to the line that I just folded. I'm not making the same mistake as last time. I'm going to get really good solid folds. There we are in three bits. And then I start folding the corner in to one of the lines that I've just created. Got to be perfect. If I remember correctly, I then start just folding like this. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Some good folds. I'll tell you the extent of my origami when I was working on a ski season in the Alps back when I was like 18, 19, if that. I would also make the beds for all the guests and the kids' rooms. Easy. I know I might make videos online, but it's not going the route you think it is. I wouldn't fold their clothes. I would put their clothes on the bed in the shape of a person so that when they came back home from skiing that day, later that day, it would look like the shape of a person in their clothes in bed. My, my hope wasn't to just like 
terrorize them. It was meant to be a nice thing. That's what my sister and I used to do when we were growing up. If we were going somewhere the next day, like somewhere nice, we would fold our clothes up or like on the floor like that, ready to go the next morning. Okay, so here we are. We're then gonna keep those folded in. Go up, fold, no, no, what was it, Oliver? And fold that corner in. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. Now, as I'm thinking about folding this, I'm thinking, should I mess this one up so I have to go onto the last one? But no, I think there's enough drama. It's only a short video, so it doesn't need to be like that, right? So then I'm gonna fold this in, I think. Yes, I think it's coming together. We just keep doing this all the way along? That's a question to myself. I know this video is already long, but while I'm doing this, I'm gonna take a second to say, in a minute. Hi, senor. Uh, I know, I had to change clothes for the video. Oh, you're making a video now? Yeah, I'm actually folding up a, a dollar origami. I was literally, I'm talking to the camera at the moment, I was just saying how crazy it is that I'm in a place where I can do this and that's how I make money. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, do you mind if I give you a call back in five minutes or so? Okay, we're almost here. The edges are looking fantastic. I better not mess up. I don't think I'm gonna mess up. Are we gonna fold it, Oliver, you donut? We are getting there. Look how close that is. I think this is the last turn and then you have to tuck everything in. 2024, that could mean anything. <sighs> okay, I'm a little bit off. Yeah, so his face is meant to be in the middle. Who is this? George Washington. <laughs> George Washington's face is meant to be in the middle. <laughs> and then the final touch is to fold these wings in. But mine don't fold. Bit of super glue. I think that's how I'll be tipping if I get crappy service. And now I'll just piece together the edit. I finished the video as if like, that's it, that's the TikTok done. No, now I take the wireframe of the script, write my script the way I want to write it, obviously, record it and then edit to that. But I feel like that's kind of, while it's integral and there's a lot that goes into each of those parts, it's not that entertaining to watch. And that's a, it's a huge part of the process. So, but it's not as fun. Okay, M maybe another time I'll go through it. Not this time. Okay.